Hi everyone, let's go ahead and quickly see how you can get started with the Comfy UI. In the previous video, I had showed you how you can install Comfy UI without any error in the Windows 11. Let's open Comfy UI. Once you open this, you will notice here all the necessary libraries and the Python packages it is going to install. This is going to do the first time. The other thing you will notice here that currently I have 96 GB of the RAM and I'm using here the PyTorch version 2.7 and I'm using here RTX 5090 GPU which has a 32 GB of the RAM. That is more than enough to generate video and the image. Once you open Comfy UI, you are going to see something like this. This is the default workflow editor in the Comfy UI. It has so many nodes here. So these are the default node basically. And this is the overall, you know, the workflow, how it looks here. And here, this side, you will see the queue. If any generation is being done, you can see there all the generated image or the videos are going to be there. Then in the node, so whatever the node you are currently seeing in the workflow, those are here. Basically, you can bring the image node from here. You can bring the sampling node. You can then bring other kind of the node. All these nodes you can use in the workflow. Like in the sampling node, you have the K sampler. So currently you see there in the workflow, there is the K sampler. There are 42 types of the sampling nodes available, 17 types of the loaders node available here. All right. In the models, you will notice here that these kind of the models are available here. But currently we do not have any kind of the model. That is why you are not seeing here any model. Otherwise, you will see there the numbers. So basically how many models are there. All right, so that will be numbered there basically. In the workflow, you will notice here that if you have any workflow saved, those workflow, you can see it here. Otherwise, you can come here in the template and then you can open any kind of the template. So the first of all, I'm gonna open here image to image. This is very basic one, but later on I'll show you the when image editor. Let's open the image to image here, this Compi UI workflow. This is going to transform existing image. And uh, the one thing you will notice here the first time that there is the missing model. So basically, we do not have any model as of now in our computer. That is why it is showing us that there is a missing model. So this was the one of the simplest workflow which you could have downloaded here, basically the model. But what I want to show you here that how you can use here a Quen image edit model. All right. So this one is the Quen image union control. Here is the Quen image edit model. This is one of the advanced model. So what I do here, I just open that particular workflow and thereafter my comp UI is so smart. It is going to tell me that these are the models which is missing in your computer. So basically these kind of models are not available on your computer. So you need to download these models. So what I do here, I'm going to download these models so that later on I can use these models here. So I click on download here for all these for all these available models. Then it is going to download these models in their respected folder like VAE, diffusion model, text encoders, and the LoRa here. All right, perfect. Now let's go ahead, close this, and we are going to stop this video. After some time, then we'll see that all these models will be downloaded. All right, all the models are downloaded here. Now I can refresh this and then I can load all the model. You will see here the numbers. All right, so all these models are loaded here. In between, I had downloaded some additional files. So in your case, you might see a different number, but all the required models are downloaded. The list of models are shown here in the model links. If you see there, let me just zoom it. I'm just trying to zoom it. Yeah, now you can see it here. Diffusion model, you have a Quen image edit FP8. That you can see it here. Quen image edit FP8, E4, M3, FN. That you can compare here and then similar kind of models you can see in other directory All right perfect now that part is done now what we are going to do here I, i'm just going to first show you that from where all these images all these image weights are coming so these are coming from compi org from the hugging face username basically so here it is hugging face.co compi org so the compi ui username is here compi org and there it has Quen image comfy UI. All right. And here from here, you can download these images if you basically you can download these uh, these model weights.
basically. The similarly, other Quen image edit you can download. These are the nodes from upload image to for editing. You can upload your image for the editing. And thereafter, you have here load models. So basically, two type of the models here being used. In fact, three type of models are being used here: diffusion model, clip model, and VA models. Let's go ahead and choose the image which I'm going to edit here. So this is the image which I'm going to edit. This image you can clearly see have glasses and the T-shirt which is shown in this image that is here uh, that is navy blue color. Let me just adjust this. Okay. Now what I do here once this is selected now I'm going to write my prompt here so that I can remove these glasses here. You see so only glasses will be removed and then this T-shirt will be colored into the red color. All right. So some similar to that, I need to write here a prompt. All right. So here we have uh, our prompt. This is where we need to write. Remove the glasses. Make red color. That's all I need to do here. Thereafter, I'm just gonna run this. All right. And this box, which you see there in the green, that is the positive uh, prompt. The other one is the negative prompt. Here you can monitor that. What is the progress? So while this image editing is being done, how much progress has been made here? The 10, 20, uh, 10, 15 and the 20 percent. There are going to be 20 steps. So basically it is going to use here 20 steps. 5 percent. Each step is going to complete there that is why you see their steps in the part of the five percent and then you have a cfg so cfg is the configuration parameter larger the configuration parameter the more it is going to follow your prompt all right now it is go it, it, it is running basically around 80 percent is done once image is generated in the save image node we can see our image here it is almost completed let's go ahead and see this generated image here perfect now you can clearly see here that this image does not have any glasses let me just save it here so that i can show you here it in larger window so i'm going to save it here in the download and then i just save it click on save then here in the queue i can see it here in larger window basically here as well so you do not see any glasses and also my uh, the t-shirt is colored into the red color let me just open it here. So this is my original image, what you see here. Just make it a little bit larger. Okay, so this is original image as I told you earlier that. All right, now here you see there is no glasses and uh, this T-shirt is colored into the red color. All right, now you see that this kind of the image editing can be used widely if you are trying to prepare the product catalog or you are in the fashion industry where you want to sew multiple shades of your t-shirt shirts or any kind of the clothing so these things you can do this is not only the thing you can do here you can in fact change the background as well if you just write there change the background with some european green field it is going to also change that background as well so whatever you want to do you can do i hope that you like this video please like and subscribe this channel. Bye-bye.